Oh no, 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 your wife is standing before you, seeking for your opinion. So please confirm this New Year festival of my people. I mean your people, yeah. the people of Umuago. Mm -hmm. So please accept all this and confirm the New Year festival. Umuago, 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 Umuago. Ah, <laughs> 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 Chekwa, Omwago. Onye sina ayaga yebi. Yebi de kwa nao. Mm-hmm. Otu wa kawale. Mm-hmm. 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 Gilebula <laughs> Today is a great day in Umuagu. Because Umuagu has accepted our sacrifice. 
I have sent a guard to the shrine to go and tell Agumwani and Onu that I'm expecting them here so we can continue with the rest of the ritual. Igwe. Do Opwago accepted our sacrifice? But I'm wondering why Agumwani asked Onu to stay behind him. <laughs> when, um, let me tell you. The gods are all knowing. Maybe our forefathers are not yet celebrating. Oh, we can. <laughs> 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 our forefathers have never let us go. Mm -hmm. Our forefathers have never disappointed us. Never. And I don't think they will disappoint us now. No. Never, not. Never, not. Never, not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, I made an alien before Abu Agu. Agu has said that you can go ahead with the festival rites. She also said that you know we'll join you later. She said it is an order from the gods. If we...
Ne wonen ngi bokala ma do kala ma won si kiki bi awaji na che bo ro kwa du 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 Ani in the palace. <laughs> when Ono who comes, tell him that I am delegating him to go and perform this same ritual at the village square.
happening here? What is happening here? Ha! I thought I had bed. Ha! I hear the sound. And at can and girl matter be running. I thought I was dead. For some of our widows who may hearken to the destructive teachings of the church people, thereby not cutting their hair, nor observing the one year mourning period for their late husband. I mean, such widows shall have nothing to do with our people. And they shall be absolutely ostracized. And such widows shall be thrown afar off like lepers. Of course. And we all know that in 14 days we shall be dedicating all the children that was born between the last of Allah and now to Okwago. Okwago, my husband, will bless and protect them from every situation. And we all know that we do not fetch water on a K days, nor farm on Nkwa days. <laughs> I mean, you, you all know the penalty that awaits every defaulter. I mean, every defaulter! Robbery, the big cop, and no man, and he will can in a chive, then a man in a river, can no man, and he will not join the corner and bend them. We're to a moment, and he will be another. What in a river, men, we're to a cage, and I have you, what you were done in the long one. As in a woman, I to a camaro, is in a new jet. I would like to talk to you. Oh yes. I want to believe that the conditions you announced at the village square yesterday does not include the Christians. How do you know? The church people, of course. <laughs> it includes everybody. Wrong. Wrong. We can't observe your AK and every other sentences if you do that. That means you will announce to everybody to observe our own days like our Sundays. Again, please leave our widows alone. Watch your tongue. I mean, why can't you grant us some freedom in this village? Watch your tongue. You cannot come between Owago and the people of Owago. The people of Owago, including you, are products of my heavenly family. And let me tell you, as Christians, we will not allow any of our members to dedicate his or her child to your Owago. Do your thing your own way, and let us do our thing. I am the one for the Almighty of Wago. The Agonia Chamber for Wago. And I am the servant of the Almighty God. The Son of the Living God. Who is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. I am the representative of Jesus Christ. An ambassador of heaven. Taiwan. No matter how mighty the tree is, it must bow when the wind passes by.
my forefathers knows you, and he knows my forefathers. And as far as you know my forefathers, you will know me. I don't I tell my forefathers, all my forefathers, in the respect of, 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 of one, you are my ancestor. I will give you anything you want in your life. Oh, I don't go. Don't you go. Oh, I don't go. Oh, I do go. I I I am I I Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, carry the thing. Put down, down. If you don't do what I say, I shoot you. I'm sorry, I will do it. Anything you want, you tell me to do. I will do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Left hand. Right hand. Attention. I'm the customer. I'm the customer. I'm the one. Left, 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 right, right. I am the cut of one. I am the cut of one. I am the cut of one. Why are you people running after me? Go back there. Why are you are you not running also? Are you not running for the madman? Me running for the madman. No. Oh, don't you see that the madness, that madman, is more superior than my own. <laughs> Even in the spiritual realm, his madness is more superior than my own. I'm a just a side attraction. <laughs> so you know that your madness is superior. Right? And he's a what this I'm a cut man. <laughs> I'm a joke, Google. Mm -hmm. I'm a come. Wait. I saw you in dream yesterday, and I, I, I remember. I saw you in dream yesterday, and that dream is very, very strong. I saw you in the dream. No, you are, I don't see your husband except you. I can't see you in dream. I just they sing this music. The music is very, very sweet. I can't sing. I don't dance like this. It's a mukwabagia. I am here to make some inquiries. Go on. About what? Igwe, I learned that your people took some valuables to your deity before the performance. You had at the village square yesterday. Yes. That's our tradition. Do you have anything against it? Igwe, with due respect, I am still surprised and worried why your people will take those valuables to a powerless and dead god. What? I I wonder why our children will be dedicated to satanic deities. If we are of the opinion that people should be allowed to choose the God to serve. Have you finished? First of all, no son of Omoagu would ask such a silly question. No son of Omoagu would refer to our God as weak and powerless. I will tolerate all that from you because you are a stranger and you do not belong here. If you were a son of Omoagu, you would have felt my wrath immediately. Omoagu has been our deity.
from time immemorial and a very powerful deity at that. I remember that before my grandfather passed on, one night he told my father the story of Oago. I was a small boy then and I was sitting cross-legged by my father as my grandfather told that story. As you know, my father preceded me on the seat and before my father it was my grandfather. I remember in graphic details what my grandfather told my father that night. Would you like me to tell you the story? <coughs> is an extremely powerful deity. Obridika <laughs> Kanala. That's why we refer to it as such. You see, he's a very unusual deity. You know? You know why? Why? It has a wife. Eh? Uh -huh. has a wife? Oh yes, it has a wife. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Igwe, Igwe, I can understand. You have a goddess. Not necessarily. You see, Six months to the crowning of my grandfather as the Agowan of Umuago, the deity suddenly 
demand the wife. So a slave girl was procured for it. Igwe. Yes. That is incredible. Now wait for the details. However, before the commencement of the traditional marriage.
So, um, Igor, you are trying to make me understand that it is the almighty God that made your family the royal blood. Yes, you could say that. Um, but that's why I'm sitting here today. I took over from my father. In your story, you, you told me that your grandfather said that Opago has the ability of transforming men into tigers. Yes, of course, yeah. So, so was there any time the deity fulfilled that what was said? Oh, come on. <laughs> it's several times. Uncountable times. Igwe Igwe <laughs> Anumpa <laughs> Bufu <laughs> Bido ta gabazia a choro zemi efo koge ozo na ama nweke maka na ntunesie na oku ni ne nka to wala ba maka oku ana a chopotara nno nweke onye nwa ana na eziogu maka ifi nka obu ni ti oku ge na ana ozo onye obu na furo ge na ana wetel mozi aga ma mu apuge you see, if any son of Umuago is provoked, he waits for the person who provoked him to apologize. Where he refuses to, he goes to Abuagu, particularly where it's a very grievous offense. He goes to Abuagu. When he gets to Abuagu, he makes ritual sacrifices to Abuagu. If Abuagu accepts the sacrifices, he grants him the power to transform into a tiger so he can go and take revenge. Abuagu, Abuagu, 
Wagu, it's my Namibia. Of Wagu, I am the Ambrokas of Midian or Baracanaqua. Of Wagu, if you go on the Kamiki, if you go on the Kamiki Bajima, Kanama, Lanam, no one may look quick with the Pigidum. Manasi, now they will be Mamma, was an anger with Evita Lanam. Of Wagu, of Wagu, Yenike, Nenig, now we can't go ya. Of Wagu, Imusipania, Imusipania, of Wagu. If anybody commits an offense, the person is found guilty and asked to make amends. Where he refuses adamantly to make amends, the case is now taken to Opwagu, the deity, who is the arbiter. Opwagu, in turn, will allow the offender three opportunities. Where he spurns those opportunities, Opwagu now moves in to exact justice. Anybody who so suffers from Opwagu's justice loses all his property to Opwagu. Now the case of Mweke. Azinavulu <laughs> That is why she is the richest woman in Omoago. She had the largest hectare of land. In addition to that, all property moved into the shrine belong to her. You see, when children have been dedicated to Wago, several sacrifices are made. The only thing she does not have children because the gods have pronounced that she will have no child at all. Well, is that why children are being dedicated to Wago today? Yes. You could say that. She is the mother of Omuagu. When children are being dedicated to Omuagu, sac many sacrifices are made. Okay, 
That is why we fear an other of Wago. The very powerful God and the do nonsense God, a respecter of no one, not even my grandfather was spurred. Uh, my grandfather? I miss him. I miss him a lot. I miss him. I'm a mamma, Senoria. Where put her? I go and don't my calante. My legger and monte, I go my uncle. Ah, Mamma, what don't I? Ah, a chapter of my. But why not walk over? My father displayed incredible military prowess in battle. Twenty-three years after they joined their ancestors, their names still drive fear into the hearts of people who occupy the areas where they campaigned militarily. In fact, my father was such that on his return from battle, he came back with several heads and slaves. On the day of his burial, J. 
Jesus Christ. Were, were those slaves buried alive? Of course they were. They were buried alive. You see, my grandfather was a very great warrior. If his exploits were to determine his burial entitlements, Mm. Is that why all his male children died at thin age? Mm. No wonder. The sins of the fathers shall be visited upon the children. With his military prowess, with his military exploits, then he would have gone down with more than 21 people. Mm. Because with his bare hands, he purchased the peace which we today enjoy in this village. I accorded my predecessor the same rights. And you understand me. I buried my father with seven human beings. And I imagine that when I go to join my ancestors, I'll be entitled to such, if not a larger number of people. Igwe, didn't you have, didn't you have the thoughts for once? How those young men felt when they were getting suffocated by the dust? That's our culture. The number of people that accompany a king to the hereafter will always be determined by the military prowess of that king while he stayed here. Remember. Our kings do not die. They merely join their ancestors. So those slaves will accompany him to the hereafter and remain his slaves. Well, excuse me, what is the meaning of the white chalk under your left eye? I knew you would come to that. Because you're getting too inquisitive. Um, my father was a great warrior. My grandfather was the greater warrior. My great grandfather was the greatest of all the warriors along that line. Through some divination, I was told that I am a reincarnation of my great grandfather. My great grandfather was especially honored and favored by the gods. He could see what others couldn't see. I inherited that. Today I can see what others cannot see. And this is why you see this mark here. No matter how much you try, you cannot see what I see. Because sitting here, <laughs> I represent the gods. The dedication of children to the shrine is bad. And I tell you, you will not do it. You will not do it. Tell other Christians who are preparing, I mean our church members, who are preparing for the ritual dedication of children, that I said they must not do it. It is bad. Reverend, it is dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. 
<laughs> you know our people and their culture, they, they may be funny. Bernard, they are worshipping a powerless God. But we are serving the almighty God, the creator of the whole universe. He is there for us. He will protect us. Bernard, he will see us through. You will not do it. Just tell them. What? No, I will tell them. I will tell them. I love them. For me, me, I shall not dedicate my child to any shrine. Hallelujah. Because Jesus Praise Christ. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ has proven to me that he is the Almighty God. I love that. I love that. I will tell them. Oh, thank you very much. I love that. Ah, uh, yes, good. Listen to me. It is against our faith. Yes. According to the Reverend, Oago is powerless. Oago. Oh, sorry, Bernard. Reverend will not be there when our people will banish us. Listen, Bernard. Listen. I don't see anything wrong. Dedicating our children to Oago. Eh? I don't see anything wrong. Yes. Never. What's wrong? Never. Dedicating our children to Oago. Uh, I will not risk my life. I know what you mean. And you know what the elders will do to us. They will just arrest us before you go. And you know what the consequences are. Listen to me for a instance. I think we are no longer of Uwago. Uwago is no more our God. Right now we serve the living God. We serve and worship the creator of the, of the universe. But why can't we dedicate our children to the God we serve, the living God? Why? Because if we do that, our people will ostracize us from this village. Odiogo, are you deaf? Are you not aware? Huh? Stop! Stop, Odiogo! Stop, Bernard! If you like, go and commit suicide. For me, I will not. I'm not. I'm going, you know. I'm not. Anyway, I have told you people what the Reverend said I should tell you. My wife, how are you sweet? There is a problem. Problem? Yes. What is it? I had you and my brother are daring not to dedicate your son, Uyenya, to our God, Wagu. My husband. Your brother says that it is wrong to dedicate children to Wagu. My dear, men can be naughty and stupid at times, but it is our duty to put them at right when they are going astray. So, my dear, please, try and make him understand. My husband, you know how rigid your brother can be in his decisions, especially when it has to do with his faith. You know, he's a man of his word. But in this issue, one should consider the implications of disobeying the laid down laws of our land. Please, my dear, Try and save him from this shame. My husband, this whole issue worries me too. But I will do my best to talk to him. Alright? Is that why your face is like that this early morning? Hell. Yeah. have told them about our plans. You should have made our plans secret. Don't you think they will go around telling the whole village? Don't worry, my dear. With the reverend and the white man by my side, I am protected. Yes. But I will not dedicate my own child. Never. They can do their worst. But our people are very deadly. When it concerns tradition. And they worship Kopuago. This your decision is very suicidal. I think we should just join them and join them in this dedication. Hmm? Yes. What did you say? Join them in what? Off the 
Have you forgotten how the name of Obuagu could not help you when you were about to put to bed? Have you forgotten? If we had believed and trusted in Obuagu, he would have died. But immediately we mentioned that name, Jesu Christi. The God of the white man saved you and you put to bed safely and the baby was fine. Can you remember? Yes. You're very right. But we have to be careful. We have to be very, very careful. My dear, we will be careful. Right? Although according to the Reverend, the Bible says that these people, God's people, should be careful for nothing. But we will be careful. Okay? I've come to realize that our people and their gods, they are powerless. Going to Obuago. Okay. Get ready for war. You will see special war. Then we'll deal with you.
Okay. What? living here. I said who is in this house? I'm not here for question and answer. They must be in their farm. Let's go to the farm. Perfect. Our people are wicked. I mean, it's, I know them very well. They are very wicked. In fact, they came to my house this morning to search for me. I had to hide. But when they left, I, I, I came here with my wife. Hmm. This is serious. Why not your people are ignorant? How can they be so furious just because of a dead god? Hmm. The gentle movement of a tiger does not mean that it is timid. I'll consult the white man. I'll consult the white man before we go to the palace. And they should have known that he can imprison them for life. Go back to your house. Uh, Reverend, did you say Igwe's palace? Yes, we'll go to the palace. Uh, Reverend, I know my people. If they see me in the Igwe's palace, I, I'm a dead man. Mm. No, no. No, the white man commands respect in this village. They are afraid of him. They are afraid of the DC and his gunmen. Just go back to your house. Did you get that? Okay, be gone. You know you are the only male child for my mother's womb. Now that you have disobeyed the Negro by going contrary to the culture. Your sister's here. Your auntie. I'm ready to accompany you to the palace to play the Eagle. I know if we do, he will temper justice with mercy. <clears throat> Follow Jesus, the Almighty God. Yes. Who is this Jesus? If I were you, I would allow this Jesus to fight for himself. I'm confused. How can you be here dying for the God of Anyari? That man is evil. He has bewitched a whole lot of our people. Oh dear, my brother, please. Hey, Odioko, if you die today, we are finished. For your information, our people are very much against you. <clears throat> my husband, my master, please, hearken to the voice of your own sisters. I believe they will never lead us astray. Please. Eh? Monica, are you crazy? Now tell me, what did you just say? Are you now as empty as these ignorant ones here? Huh? Listen, if you know what is good for you, just shut up your mouth. What just hey, 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 hey. Enough! Enough! Listen, I have made my point and it is final. Hey. Shut up! What, what? 
why am I even here listening to all of you? Oh yeah, everybody, your husband's house is here. Now, hey, I said all of you, go! Please. I said to your Mama, Diko, 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 Eji, Mafa, Chiku, Yogi, Diko, Oya, all of you, your husband, I don't want to listen anymore. You've made your point, fine. If you take on me, your auntie. You are still going to that shrine. Eh? Come back here. Did you? Come and kneel down here. I better kill you today and bury your remains than allowing you to, to go to that uh, Anyali shrine. How dare you? Now nah, come back here. Sure. Yeah, come back here. You are even lucky yeah, that Ogwagu has not reacted. But I trust Ogwagu. Okwagu definitely one day will bury all of you, the followers of Anyali. Idiot. Now, enter this house and pack your things and get out of this place. Now. You have. Now, I'm going to leave. Go inside the room. Go inside the room and pack your things and get out of my house. Go inside. Go inside. All of you. Shut up. Shut up. Pack your things. Pack your things. I'm here to warn all of you. If any one of you tries to force any of my members against his or her own faith, that person will die in the disease prison. What? Are we saying anything about this? You had better warn this you are being a friend. Warn him! Tell this lady that we are not cowards! Yes. Tell him that before he infested some of our stupid people with his stupid and evil religion that we've been enjoying our culture. Tell him that. In fact, you have made me angry. And if you continue with this sacrilege, I, my year, will deal with you. Yes, you will deal with me. How dare you? You will deal with me. You have my support. You have my support. Yes, 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 you
soon meet the woman that is mad. Reverend, they met her in the farm and they beat her mercilessly. Then she ran back home to come and tell me. And when I went there, I saw, I saw those wicked elders with about four young men as they were harvesting my cassava, my own cassava in my land. By the time they finished, they put a young palm from there, meaning that nobody must enter that place. Did you make any attempt to stop them? Reverend, I couldn't. I was just watching them from a distance. I know my people. If I had tried to get close to them, they would have killed me. If care is not taken, these men will rot in this is uh... My dear. Wipe your tears. Remember the Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But our God delivers them in all. Let us pray. I seek your consent to say this to the hearing. A man who goes to war with a weapon he cannot use may end up hurting himself. Heaven and earth know that his late father died as a pauper. It's on record. As a matter of fact, he is supposed to be my slave. I left him to enjoy his freedom because of my magnanimity. Igwe, my father lent the money to his late father with that portion of land as collateral. Eh? Yes. If you swear, you will die right here and now. Of course he won't. Yes. Adiago, is that true? Igwe, it is a lie. What? Yes, a very big lie, Igwe. Igwe, hey! Igwe, my father was not a rich man. But while he was alive, he never gave any portion of his land to anybody. Not even one of his father. He fabricated the whole story. It is a lie. I Shut up! Shut up! How dare you say that? The, 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 the titled man fabricated a story. That was the way uh, are, you, are you Are you insane? Now look at the man now. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and tell him that he is a liar. Go ahead. Oh, do I sit down? Oh, my please, brother, uh, brother. please, Igwe, give your verdict. I could not base my verdict on the account of two people. No. Is there anybody here who can tell me anything about that portion of land? Yes. Um, Igwe, Igwe, you live long. Igwe. My fellow elders, I don't know why we are wasting our time here. Eh? Why are we beating about the bush? Igwe, I'm aware. I'm aware that this land that we are talking about here belongs to Mwenem's father. While he even lived, he was cultivating that land for ages. So, the truth is that that land belongs to his father. Igwe <laughs> Gade. It is as clear as this daylight that Nenem inherited that land from his father. In fact, I know it like I know my name. But that Nenem's father gave money to the father of this Vagabond, and they in turn gave the land to Wenem's father as collateral. I don't know why this boy is here to make elders like us liars. Or is it what the uh, 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 Bekangali teaches you? Ichi, Ichi, even you. Bernard, is it true? It's a lie. It's not true. I still maintain that this whole thing is a big lie. Um. We have to be extremely careful how we handle this issue. 
So we do not incur the wrath of Wabeke Anyare. Um, our people say that when a man is aware that he is surrounded by enemies, he has to be extremely vigilant. That's true. There is nothing else to add to all I have heard. Churchman, Igwe, you have heard them. I think there is nothing else to add. That land belongs to where them. Bena, don't worry. Rejoice and be glad. The Bible says that you will receive a great reward for this persecution. Just don't worry. There is a better land. Reverend, how do you expect me to rejoice and be glad? Tell me. Be how do you expect me to rejoice? This is my father's land. My inheritance. Mine. Bernard, there is a better land. Even if they are lying, they must pay for it. <gasps> Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Any man that speaks upwards must wait for the fall of the saliva on his face. Then, that man blatantly refused to dedicate his child to Okwago. Uh, I think he deserves to be punished, Igwe. Mm, you don't know Okwago. Okwago is a very fierce deity. This is why we call Okwago Ubu Madu Mbasundu Nagu Siyeike. He who takes away the life of a man on the day he cherishes his life most. I know that Okwago will react when the time comes. Igwe, hmm? come to think of it. I wonder what led to the death of Awoke, his elder brother. Knowing fully well that the gods do not behave like us. I, I think um, his disobedience may have become the reason for his elder brother's death. <coughs> Igwe. Even though everybody has been running away from the truth because of what Wabeke uh, Amindi uh, would do, I have decided to say the truth. That man masterminded the death of his own blood brother, Awoke. Okwago will not allow our own son wipe us out of this land which is ours. He will not. I am positive. Igwe, hmm? if you will throw your weight behind us, we will assure you that we will make his Mwabeke hate him. Yes, yes Igwe, uh, you are in charge in this land and your decision is final. Exactly. I agree, I am in charge. But on matters of this nature, it is good we allow Okwagu to handle it. This is Okwagu's own domain. Okwagu has always fought for us in times of war. Now... Get her! Get her! Get her! Get her now! Come out of here! Now! Come on here! What is the matter? Get her! Let them not enjoy me. Tell them to leave me. I'm not running and I'm not going to run. Shut up! Shut that you are trapped. Shut it up! Let them know. Of course they will not leave you. They are not going to leave you alone until you cut his head. And stop putting on these casual wears as tradition demands. At least as a sign of respect. 
to your late husband. Now go, 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 bring her down and cut her cut all my hair. Go ahead. Get her. Shave cut her hair. Jesus! If you now continue to, to uh, lick the S creature of white men, but I must remind you that you are still an evil man. Fool! <laughs> 